Today, we're going to discuss the QuickBooks Online Level 1 Certification Exam Answer Section 4, Banking in, which will be practicing real exam question. Which of the following statements about uploading transactions into a client's QuickBooks account are true? Select all the options you think apply, and then select Submit. This can be done for newly connected accounts, but not existing linked accounts B. If you want to import further back than the bank allows, you can do it manually in bulk by importing A. CSV file C. When connecting accounts, your client will be asked to select the date range they want to import transactions from D. All banks only allow imports from the previous 12 months answer. A. This can be done for newly connected accounts, but not a real exam question. When should you use the categorize option for a transaction in the bank feed? Select an option and then select Submit. A you should never do this QuickBooks will always have a recommendation B. B you should never do this. Transactions should always be categorized earlier in the workflow C. C when QuickBooks has suggested a match D. D when there's no existing record of the transaction elsewhere in the client's QuickBooks account, the correct answer is when there's no existing record of the transaction elsewhere in the client's QuickBooks account. exam question. Which of the following transaction types can't be assigned in a rule for money out transactions? Select an option and then select submit. Transfer B, expense C, credit card payment D, credit memo. Check the correct answer. Credit memo, the correct answer is when there's no existing record. exam question. Which of the following statements about bank rules in QuickBooks are true? Select all the options you think apply, and then select Submit. You can change the order in which rules are applied B. Rules are applied in numerical order as they are listed C. If QuickBooks can't apply a rule, it will then look for a matching transaction already recorded in the accounting software D. The first rule where the transaction meets the conditions is the one that QuickBooks applies the correct answer to the question. A. You can change the order in which rules are applied B. Rules are applied in numerical order as they are listed D. The first rule where the transaction meets the conditions is the one that QuickBooks applies. Damn question. Which of the following statements is false regarding a receipt that has been uploaded to QuickBooks and is showing in the Receipts tab of the Transaction Center? Select an option and then select Submit. It either must be categorized and added as a new transaction or matched with an existing transaction B. It's not recorded anywhere else in a client's QuickBooks account until it's been reviewed C. Transactions in the For Review tab in the Transaction Center are included in QuickBooks search for existing transactions to match the receipt with D. QuickBooks will look for existing transactions already in QuickBooks that match with the uploaded receipt to help prevent duplicate transactions, the correct answer of the question. C. Transactions in the For Review tab in the Transaction Center are included in QuickBooks search for existing transactions to match the receipt with. real exam question. Which of the following about a client's bank and credit card statements are true? Select all the options you think apply and then select submit. You can't manually upload statements in a QuickBooks. They must come in automatically via a connected account B. When the account is connected, the account statements may automatically upload to QuickBooks C. If the client's bank doesn't automatically upload statements to QuickBooks, you will need to work with a paper statement D. You need the statement so that you can see the beginning and ending balances, activity, and the total amount of withdrawals and deposits on that account for the statement period answer of the question. B. When the account is connected, the account statements may automatically upload to QuickBooks C. If the client's bank doesn't automatically upload statements to QuickBooks, you will need to work with a paper statement. Exam question. Your client receives a bill for $5,000 for floor tiles for a house refurbishment they are doing. The bill is recorded in QuickBooks and your client pays the stone supplier $5,000. They don't record that they have paid the bill. When the $5,000 appears in the bank feed, 
QuickBooks recognizes it as a linked match. What happens when you accept the suggested match for this transaction? Select an option and then select Submit. A new bill payment transaction is created and the original bill transaction is deleted B. A note is automatically added to the original bill transaction to indicate a bank feed match C. A new bill payment transaction is created and linked to the original bill transaction D. A new bill payment transaction is created with a note to indicate a bank feed match answer of the question. D. A new bill payment transaction is created with a note to indicate a bank feed match. Real exam question. There are items listed under the following headings in a reconciliation report, which would need investigating. Select all the options you think apply and then select Submit. Uncleared checks and payments as of the date of the reconciliation B. Uncleared checks and payments after the date of the reconciliation C. Uncleared deposits and other credits as of the date of the reconciliation D. Uncleared deposits and other credits after the date of the reconciliation answer of the question. A. Uncleared checks and payments as of the date of the reconciliation C. Uncleared deposits and other credits as of the date of the reconciliation. Damn question. Which one of the following statements about connecting a client's bank or credit card account to QuickBooks Online is true? A. The client should sign in to their bank or credit card account themselves. They shouldn't share their details so that you can sign in on their behalf. B. You can automatically import data from any date you wish from when the bank or credit card account was opened. C. There should be one corresponding account in the chart of accounts to allocate all connected accounts to D. The client can connect up to three bank and credit card accounts to their answer to the question. A. The client should sign in to their bank or credit card account themselves. They shouldn't share their details so that you can sign in on their behalf. Exam question. Which of the following criteria can't be specified in a bank rule condition? Select an option and then select Submit. Bank text B. Bank account C. Transaction date D. Description the answer of the question is C. Transaction date. Which one of the following statements accurately describes bank text? Select an option and then select Submit. It's the text used for the vendor field and how you look up the transaction and the expenses center B. It's the same as bank detail information QuickBooks receives from the bank about a transaction C. It's a simplified version of the bank detail text D. It's text that only ever applies to transactions from a bank account, not a credit card. The answer to the question is B. It's the same as bank detail information QuickBooks receives from the bank about a transaction. question. Which of the following statements regarding bank rules is false? Select an option and then select submit. Bank rules can automatically split transactions B. Bank rules can automatically post transactions to the appropriate account C. Bank rules can only be set up by an accountant user in QuickBooks D. Bank rules can be copied, edited, or deleted E. Bank rules can be prioritized. The false statement regarding bank rules is C. Bank rules can only be set up by an accountant user in QuickBooks. Damn question. What happens when a transaction in the client's bank feed is exactly matched? Select an option and then select Submit. It's matched to an account in the chart of accounts B. It's matched to a project that's been set up in a client's QuickBooks account C. It's matched to a transaction already recorded in a client's QuickBooks account D. It's matched to a rule in the rules list. The correct answer is D. It's matched to a rule in the rules list. Damn question. 
What is an advantage of bank-to-bank -bank transfer matching? Select an option and then select Submit. It contacts the bank on behalf of the client and orders the transfer of funds B. It automatically accepts high confident matches of money moved between bank accounts connected to QuickBooks, streamlining the workflow by removing the need to take action to match or add a payer transaction C. It identifies high confidence matches of money moved between two bank accounts connected to QuickBooks and flags them as paired to another transaction D. It allows a regular transfer between bank accounts and the bank feeds to be set up the correct answer is C. It identifies high confidence matches of money moved between two bank accounts connected to QuickBooks and flags them as paired to another transaction. Question. If you find issues that stop you from finishing a reconciliation, which of the following actions might help you resolve them? Select all the options you think apply and then select Submit. Checking the ending balance you entered B. Editing the beginning balance so that it's the same as the cleared balance C. Combining payments into a single deposit amount D. Reviewing the beginning balance the correct answer is C. Combining payments into a single deposit amount.